Well, thank you for being here uh, today, Gil. It is a pleasure to be in your presence and be able to interview you. And uh, now that I'm working on putting together this program at the speed of your imagination, I'm very intrigued, and so are people that listen to the stuff that I talk about, about your square deal and how it all comes together, you know, in your book, The Road to Victory. So it is a pleasure to be here with you. Good, good. Well, it's a pleasure for me, too. I like to be asked questions. <laughs> anyway, um, Herman here has been sitting with me on and off for several years. And he has done all the courses, even the voice courses, even though he's not a singer, but he took all the voice courses. So he's now completing uh, about half of the course number five, self-transformation, doing very well. So, um, yeah, we'll go from here. Yeah. Excellent. Um, the first thing that I want to find out is you're saying that people are not successful in life because they really don't experience inner freedom. Now I'd like to know, based on your book and how you describe the road to victory and the square deal, how can someone achieve inner freedom? Well, I, I can't tell you how they're going to achieve inner freedom in six words. <laughs> now people, it is true, people make life very complex, very complicated then they have to live that complex life. So, the reason why they make everything so complicated is because they don't have a blueprint to follow. They only have the information that was given them through their parents, through the schools, which are very bad. <laughs> and uh, I know because I'm a high school teacher. I taught music in uh, high schools. And um, they have, they only follow what's going on, the media, which is all, a, it's a fact. They're, a, they're actually told what to say in public. Not that many people know that. And so uh, following that, they reach a point in life where they have nothing to fall back on. See? So when they want to do something, they're really not sure because they've never gone within themselves. And all the answers, I say, are there inside yourself. Uh, for example, up until 20 years ago, I read thousands of books. Now I don't read anything. Okay. Because all the answers are there. So. I, I agree with you. And, and I think it's very important to discover oneself in that you know that the power to do anything in life is within and setting up a blueprint. I think that's fascinating. Um, so in your square deal, you describe a very simple structure for that blueprint. What is that simple structure? Well, uh, there's four steps. It's called a square deal because it's a square is uh, what holds up the house. Okay. Right? That's the square. So number one, you want to you want to use as much as pos possible honesty with self and reality. Now, when it comes to being honest with others and other concerns, that is up to you. Obviously, you cannot be a hundred percent honest because if someone walks in here right now with a gun, and I say, "Here's a guy with a gun," and you hide in the closet, and he says, "Where's your man? I want to kill him." <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to tell him the truth. Right. And I say, I just left a few minutes ago. So, I leave honesty with others up to you, up to your own development. Okay. But, above all things, you need to be truthful with yourself and reality. What is it that I see in front of me? What exactly what is it that's happening? That's honesty. Without that, you will not, not be able to develop the second and third steps. So you, you, you're saying in a nutshell, basically, you must accept what you have in front of you and acknowledge it so you have a starting point. Well, it's, acceptance, leave that out. That's, that's okay. for something else. You have to see exactly what is there. 
Now, if, I, if I'm looking at you and you're an evil person, I see that as a reality. I say to myself, this man is evil. And don't give me all of that uh, religious stuff that everybody's goody-goody and then to turn the other cheek. No. They, the fact is, scientifically, according to spiritual science, man is basically good. You, you don't have to do anything to self-improve, to become better. All you have to do is eliminate the bad, and you're automatically good. Okay. So in order to discover these things, you have to see who you are. You have to be honest with yourself. Uh, now, about the acceptance part, that's slightly, that's a, on the, a little bit ahead. We're, we won't go into that right now. So that would be the first, uh, the, yeah, go ahead, yeah. Then there's a second step. Do you want to hear about the second step? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Um, now, I hope that we're going to present these four steps when I give the talk at your sure. institution. And so the second step would be you asking yourself, or you can ask your pupils, make them think, or even children. Go up to a child and say, oh, what is the purpose of life? Oh, man. Kids love this stuff. Mm -hmm. My father talked to me like that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, you ask four questions of yourself. Number one is, what is the purpose of life? Why are we living? What is the purpose of, of life? Right. Second question would be, where did I come from? What am I doing here and where am I going? These four questions you need to think about. You need to spend five minutes, not a half an hour contemplating your navel, just five minutes every evening before you go to bed thinking about this, these four questions. These four, once these questions be begin to be answered, I'm not going to say completely answered because it's a continuous process. When you die, you're still asking yourself those questions, but each time you're learning more and more and more. So you, those four questions give you some, some answers which become the beginning of that blueprint that you're going to be living by. That's number two, very, very important. Number three is the unburdening or uh, eliminating all the lies, the conditioning, the, um, the, uh, the programming. programming, and the, the, the what came from before, what do you call that? What, what came from? Inheritance. The, in the, what you inherited, the, all the, the lies you inherited, in, you know, all of that conditioning, all the lies that you created yourself right. uh, in order to fit in, quote-unquote, fit in, fit into what? <laughs> anyway, so you want to get rid of that, and that is very important, and that's where it becomes a little technical, because you have to know how to do it. Of course, you can go to a great master like the Daniel Brandon or some psychotherapist, and if he's good, he will help you in that. But if you don't have a very serious problem, as I did many years ago with a phobia that I had, if you don't have that, you can do it all yourself. You, uh, and then in the book, I tell you how to eliminate all those lies. That's why you have to be honest to be able to see to, if they are truly lies. So the work of sentence completion of Nathaniel Brandon and the... Um, EFT, Emotional Freedom Techniques, which was formerly called the Callahan Technique. And I use those in my course number five. Um, and you can do the same thing. You can use them on your own. That's to eliminate as many lies as possible. <clears throat> then you go into the fourth step, which is discover your purpose in life. Once you discover your purpose in life, you then align it with the purpose of life itself, which you already answered in step number two. Correct. Now, in my book, The Road to Victory, I go into that, the purpose of life itself, just to get you started. And I actually give you a definition for, not a definition, but a, uh, uh, I, gi I give you the purpose of life itself. It's right there on black and white. 